afternoon guys. This is a warning message to our nation. From a watchman on the wall. This is where God plays me. I can't change that. Let me get into this. And there's twofold to this. This was the warning. It was a year ago. Or somewhere around there. I was in prayer, just normal, everyday prayer, honestly. And uh, the Lord spoke to me and said, the two major retailers are closing down, going to close down completely. One was going to close down because of a scandal. And another one, was because of their stance on, on the abortion, uh, not on the abortion, but on the gay issues, the LGBT issues. You know, you're gonna be able to figure that out pretty quick. So the next day, I asked the Lord, I was like, I didn't think about it at the time, but the well, next day I asked the Lord, I said, well, what's the scandal? Price fixing and price gouging. Let me share this with you guys, because this is in the spirit. But I'm gonna show you in the natural, even the natural world is seeing this. The proof's in the pudding. I'm gonna be able to show you both. But there's a storm coming. I've been talking about storms for a long time. One was a dream about Amos 8, 11. Two years old. Idols, storms. This one, we're not gonna be able to pray it through, guys. It's coming, and it's going to devastate millions. The encouraging piece of it, and the beauty of it, is if you know Jesus, truly know him, you will find out pretty, this is going to be a rubber meets the road time. If you truly know him, you're going to be fine. You're going to cover on the blood of the Lamb and the shadow of the Almighty. You're going to get direction. And this is not... Well, let me let me finish this so you'll know where I'm coming from. But this is... I guess I need to interject this. But this is not a... Go stack up a bunch of beans and be a, a prepper. And, you know, 300 rounds of ammunition. You ain't going to be able to do to squat. The storm is coming. Let me tell you the natural so that you'll maybe it'll be a little a little bit more you might believe it a little bit more. Two weeks ago or three weeks ago, both those companies were in the news. Not me, not what I'm saying. They were in the natural news by a major comp company. It was actually Bloomberg. One of those money newses. And the analyst said, America, you better wake up to what's going on. Because one of the companies was always reporting double digit, you know, their, their income. They were making a ton of money. That was positive. They almost went negative to like next to nothing, increasing earning stocks. Wall Street stock market, they don't like to hear any of that. They start shying away from it. The other one, a week later, was in the news. They're going to take all their used, not, not selling inventory, and the reason why it's not selling, and they're going to put it on a discounted price and sell it to sell their way out of some of the financial trouble they're in. Not going to sell, guys. Some stuff, even if it has value, if, it, if people aren't buying it and don't, don't have any value on it for the people, I don't care if it was worth $1,000 one day, 10 years ago, 5 years ago. If it's not selling, it's not selling. you lowering the price, you're not going to be able to, you can, some of that stuff you can't even give away. But they're both in the news. Boom, but let me tell you, in the spirit, I walk into these stores.
Only one because I don't stop it the other way at all. There was a foam football in a big box. Ten bucks. Just went today. Now, this happens all the time, but a third of the shelves are empty. They're putting in stuff that's that's you know that's overinflated. They're pulling out a product, and it's not just because they can't get it. Vendors are leaving them because they're trying to cut too many costs. Employees are saying, I talked to several of them, they're cutting hours. Uh, just today, this is one example, but shell, like I said, shelves are third empty. I went to just get one product. They don't carry it anymore. And they only carry two. They used to carry about half a dozen of the same product. They had a lot of selection. One was five fifty eight, and the other one was fourteen bucks. Five fifty eight was actually fairly reasonable, sort of, kind of. But I go in there every every when I go into there, stuff has gone up thirty, forty, fifty cents on a two dollar item. In a day or two, they got garbage in there that's, you know, I mean, it is just skyrocketed. And it's not just our leadership that's driving inflation through the roof. They said, this is why, okay? The storm is coming and we can't change because God is creating it and why he's creating it is for a broken because a broken and contrite spirit he's going to break this nation from the idol of the almighty dollar just like he's stopping abortion it's starting but people you know it's still all kind of crazy stuff but the laws have started to change can't stop it. We were a nation that was under the blood, but it was the wrong blood. We were murdering innocent lives. It's going to be blunt with you. I told you I'm a watchman. I can't change it. I don't like a lot of these messages. That's why I pray about it. Because, man, are you sure about it? So I'm going to end with this. But in the spirit, I saw this the storm that's coming out. Put out a it's more about the storms. Look up some of my other ones about the storms. I put out several of them. I'm not trying to promote anything that I did because I just recently went through a pride issue that I had to get rid of. And it was, it was very ugly. And I didn't think it was there. I've been saved 40 years, guys. And I've got some really awesome testimonies all throughout that 40 years. And some victories and some defeats. And some really ugly defeats. Bloody ugly defeats. But, so, I put some out before all this disease stuff and all this inflation stuff. And just, I'll give you one example. It's four years ago, guys. There's a a, a dream I had six days after the 2000, eight days after the 2016 election, it's on there. Je Jesus in the center. Four years ago, God, look it up on my, on my YouTube channel. And I'm making this stuff up. I'm not running for any office. I'm not trying to be anybody. I'm not. I'm a watchman watching and warning. And I'm, man, I'm going to shout this from the rooftop. This storm is going to come whether you want it or not because God designed it to break the chains of the idol of the almighty dollar and if you're not if you're not with Jesus he's not living in you and you don't trust him then you might not make it pray that you do but you might not this is a pretty stern warning guys you better be paying attention and that's what the analyst said in the natural from Bloomberg. 
that Amer America, you better be paying attention to what this company's doing and happening. They're going under, guys. All the signs are there. It's uh, sign after sign after sign after sign. They're in a toilet spin of losing customers and revenue and scrambling for answers and solutions, and it ain't coming. Here's the scriptures that go with it. It was called Wages and Economy, and I've had it in my computer for five, six years now. This is just a few I've got. Like, I've got literally 30 or 40 of them. Here they go. I didn't write the scriptures, but Romans 4, 4. James 8, 24. Leviticus 19, 13. Jeremiah 22, 13. Malachi 3, 4, and 5. Or 3, 5. And Proverbs 3, 27, 28. A lot of them are about withholding the wages of the, of the, of the laborers. The one is from God. In the Bible. Old Testament and New Testament. I don't, I don't care how much money you got stacked up right now. I don't care if you got a garage full of beans and rice. Prepping for something. What are you going to do? I'm in a big city, I'm in Dallas, I'm in a big... Well, how, what are you going to do if the power's turned off? You have no lights, no electricity, how are you going to cook them? What do you need, go chop a tree down? There's millions of people in Dallas, there's not millions, of, there ain't even enough trees. And you're not going to have gas for the chain? It's going to be a mess, guys. You think this $5, which is about to hit 10, what are you going to do when it hits 10? Me, I already know I'm praying about stuff. I'm putting God first and asking for directions. And he's showing me how he's going to provide. This is going to be, this is going to be where the rubber meets the road. He's going to rain manna down from heaven for his children. But you know what, guys? I'm pretty sure it was plain Jane bread. And he told him not to hoard it and stack it up. Don't stack up a bunch of rice and beans because it ain't going to last long couple months or whatever it ain't gonna be it's never gonna be enough but Jesus is enough God Jesus the Holy Ghost his word you better start getting in his word you better start asking and praying for direction and you better start using these instead of these or well, you need to use these but these are gonna become very important because you better start hearing what he's the spirit saying to the church man with this I'm not, you know, I heard one pastor say, some of you Christians are like a granola bar, nuts, fruits, and flakes. I'm none of those. This stuff is birthed in prayer, guys. The spiritual side, I, some of you that are skeptical, maybe don't believe it, look at some of my other messages. If you're still skeptical, look at what the financial wizards of this of this time are saying, America, you better wake up. Watch what this company's doing. Why are they saying that? They might not be smart enough to be saved, but they're smart in the money realm. But this almighty dollar is coming down. It's an idol that's coming down. Jacob, close the door. Sorry, that was one of my grandkids. He didn't know I was back here. And he's kind of a you know, rowdy little kid. Good kid, but that's all I didn't want him in here because he was starting. But anyhow, back to this. So, this nation is falling on his own sword. What's going to hit, guys? I'm telling you, it's not going to stop. 
because it's designed to break that chain of the Almighty Dollar, of, our, of the true Christian, the true body of Christ, off of our neck. It's been choking life out of us. And if you don't know, you don't know Jesus, truly know him, you might very well not make it. Because it's going to be work while you can, while there's still light of day. There's a ton of scriptures, guys. Ask the five foolish virgins. What the wise ones tell them? Go buy the, buy the oil yourselves, because we may not have enough. They entered in, and then the foolish ones got the oil, and by the time they got to the door, it was closed. Apart from because your work was of iniquity, I knew you not. I'm telling you guys, this is a, this is a, a this is a, and if I had a, a bullhorn and a radio station, if I had an airplane that could fly a banner cost, warning, you better get right with Jesus. Because this storm that's coming, you don't even need to be a, a, a economic guru or a rocket scientist to figure it out. You just have a little bit of common sense. Not to bring fear. It's a warning. And the warning is get right with Jesus and you're going to make it through. Don't and you won't. Pretty, pretty just there. Guys, no more playing games. I don't care how much money you got stacked up. It ain't going to work. And I'm not talking about you have to give it away all. I'm not naive. I, you know, people talk about money and the first thing they want to say, you know, you, you know, that you all do, you give it away all to the poor. Man, guys, when I gotta go somewhere, I have to have a car, I have to have gas, I have to have tires, all that stuff that costs money. My house now, fortunately, it's, it's paid for, but, you know, stuff, I mean, my lights have to work. Air conditioning has to work on the decks of the dock. The reason why I'm wearing a robe is because my wife's always hot. And, you know, the room I'm in where we sleep, she wants it at 62. And she comes in here and it's hot in here. Honey, it can't be hot because the air conditioner is shut off literally 24 7 in, in months. It never shuts off. <laughs> in the summer. Anyhow, that's, that one's free. She's just sweet, kind person. She's just not nature. It doesn't do well with her. So I have to wear a flannel pajamas and a bathrobe. <laughs> In Texas. But anyhow, we love you guys. Um, I get nothing out of this message. Look back on my messages, four years of them, hundreds of them. I preached at a homeless shelter for me and my wife over three years. No offering involved. Cost quite a bit too, some at time, different times. I've never asked for an offering. People say that that's kind of nuts and you know, you know this is where I'm at, guys. And I just want to have clean hands in this one. That doesn't mean you have to. You know, it just pray about it. Because some of us are the hands, some of us are the feet, some of us are the eyes, some of us are the ears. Some of us are supposed to speak. And I'm not trying to be this, because this is one of my messages, a sensationalism preacher. Look what I see, four dead bodies in the White House. Come on, that's not prophetic, that's pathetic. Anyhow, that one's free too. Love you guys, but I'm not following, I'm not following a bunch of scam artists. It's not going to do it. Why? Because I pray about it. I discern the spirit. 
Am I going to, and, and am I 100% right all the time? No. This one, yes. Come on, guys. You better dig and dig deep, and that's, be, you know, or it may not be shamed, right? We're dividing the word of truth. You better grab your Bible and blow off the dust. Clean out your ears. Open your eyes to his understanding. And actually, pay attention to what he says, what the Spirit's saying to the church, and listen and do it. You can't come to God in prayer and you already got the plan laid out. There is no plan in this but turning to Jesus and letting God rain manna down from heaven. And it's not going to be Subway bread where you get 18 different flavors. You know, man, we're a bunch of spoiled brats in this country. You go to an ice cream place, it's got 44 flavors. When I was a kid, a chocolate dip cone was a treat 50 years ago. You go to any restaurant and people get yell at the waiter if they don't if this food's not salted right or they didn't bring salt or their you know their ice there's not enough ice in their coke or whatever, you know. The waiter gets an earful. Our fallen nation guns. The only thing that's gonna hold it together is the grace of God. And the storm that's coming. Even if the government tries to bail it out, it ain't going to work. Do we really, do, honestly, do we really trust them anyhow? Ask any normal American walk in the street. And say no. Sad, sorry to say. We trust in Jesus. Through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. It's one of my messages. Look at it. Broken. He wants it broken. Jesus was broken for all mankind. You think you're any better? This arrogance and pride. What's between here? This. Gonna get you in trouble. Maybe even lose your soul. Love you guys. See you soon.